Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we're going to be discussing and recapping Taylor's 100th Eras Tour show, what she said, what she didn't say. We're also going to be discussing the Chiefs ring ceremony that happened last night and Taylor popping in in a certain way to offer her congratulations, to be there in spirit actually kind of a lot to get into. So let's start out with Taylor Swift officially confirming during her 100th show that the Eras Tour will be ending in December. Now, there's been a lot of speculation over the last handful of months because Taylor has kind of consistently extended this tour. She's added dates. Um, she added those second North American dates in the fall. People were speculating, wondering, is she going to add more dates? Is she going to go to more places? Will this tour continue into 2025? Well, Taylor put all those rumors to bed last night during her 100th show where she confirmed that yes, the dates that are announced, those are the only dates that are happening and we are not continuing this, this tour into next year. So this is what she said. This was her little speech. I think it was right before she performed all too well. Um, this is what she had to say about ending the tour in December. A lot of you are like, how are you going to celebrate the 100th show? The celebration of the 100th show for me means this is the very first time I've acknowledged to myself and admitted that this tour is going to end in December. That feels so far away from now, but then again, it feels like we just played our first show on this tour because you have made this so fun for us. It's taken over everything. I think I once had hobbies, but I don't know what they were anymore because all, all I do when I'm not on stage is sit at home and try to think of clever acoustic song mashups, which is true. I said that earlier this week. She's very, very good about mashing up these um, songs and bringing different eras together. But this was a very, I think a very pointed, obviously she did this on purpose, but I think it was good for her to kind of say it and stop the speculation because again, there were a lot of people that have been speculating about wanting more, more shows. And I just want to say to those who are like upset that Taylor isn't performing more shows and isn't doing more shows, this woman, when the Eras tour will be said and done, she will have been on tour for a year and a half, almost two years, basically. That is a long time to be performing, especially the fact that she's doing three plus hour shows. She's performing stadiums. Like the fact that she's doing so many shows is so impressive and so crazy. And also like she's got other stuff she wants to do with her life. We've said it before. She's going to be 35 in December. Like I have no idea if she wants marriage and kids and like if that's something that she's thinking about but if that is something she's thinking about like that's the time to start to like live your life and and do those sorts of things and we know she's going to be directing a movie and probably wanting to make more music and like also just taking a break i i have to imagine and as she said like touring you just you just don't get to do as much with your life because all you do is travel perform shows, rest, recover. I mean, we'll get to it, but like she couldn't be at the chief's ring ceremony last night. There, there are things, there are sacrifices that she's had to make over the course of the last year um, in order to be on tour. So I have no problem with her saying like, this is it, I'm done. And I don't think it's the last time we'll see Taylor Swift on tour, but I just, I don't, I don't, um, I don't like begrudge her or anything like that. In fact, I actually am really happy that she's saying like, this is it, I'm done. And then she gets to go and enjoy her life and take some time for herself. I have to imagine that by the time the tour is over, she's just going to be like, oh my God, thank God it's over. I mean, I'm sure she'll be sad, but also like, it's got to be just so, so exhausting. So anyway, get your tickets now. If you were like wanting, maybe hoping that there'll be other shows this is it. You're going to have to buy the resale tickets, expensive prices, but go now because it will be finished by December. Um, we had speculated also this week that maybe there would be some announcements made for her 100th show, some surprises. There was nothing. You guys, we were clowning around thinking we were going to get something. We didn't get anything, which honestly, again, like I don't blame her. She just put out this album. I think... I think because I think a lot of us were speculating reputation. I feel like if there were, if, if there was going to be something, I thought maybe there would be um, a new 
TTPD music video or like single announcement. That kind of would have made sense, but we're going to have to wait for another milestone moment for her to an- announce something else. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if she waits until the end of the tour to like put out Reputation and her debut album and stuff. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe she'll put it out as like a, I could see it also being like the, um, the final show. It's like a, Hey guys, thank you for this great tour. Here's Reputation. Um, who knows? We'll have to wait and, and see, but no big surprises. The surprise songs that she that she performed. So she did I Can See You, which is one of the um, vault tracks from Speak Now, which she, she said in the bef- before performing that she filmed the music video in the UK and she did it with a mashup of Mine, which I love Mine. It's one of my favorite songs. And then she did Cornelia Street mashed up with maroon, which that's a tough one to lose for me. I mean, I guess she could still, she could still do it, but I love Cornelia Street so much. And that mashed up with maroon chef's kiss. Um, so that was kind of it from the hundredth show, but that wasn't the last we heard from Taylor Swift that day evening, because then it was the chief's ring ceremony. So as we all know, the Chiefs won the Super Bowl this past year. Um, And so they had their big celebration last night where all the players gathered and they got their rings. For many of these players, it was their third Super Bowl ring for Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey. For others, it was their second. Some it was their first. Um, But all the players showed up, decked out, dressed to the nines, wearing, if if they had won rings prior, they were all wearing all their old rings. Um, And as I mentioned, Taylor obviously couldn't be there because she performed in Liverpool and then performs today and this weekend. So there wasn't a chance she was going to be able to make it. But she did join in a very special way through McCole Hardman, who is a wide receiver for the Chiefs. He was the one who caught the game-winning touchdown in the Super Bowl. His partner, Kiara Gordon, I don't know if I'm saying her name right. Um, She was on live in Instagram live during the ceremony and Taylor Swift joined her live, which is just so funny because like, first of all, Taylor Swift doesn't follow anybody on Instagram. So I wonder if like she got a heads up that she was going to be going live or like, I I would love to know how she knew that Kiara was live. Um, But she joins the live and this is what she, these are some of the comments that she that she wrote on the live. So she did a bunch of hard eye emojis. She, she wrote joining the party from Liverpool. Let's go. <laughs> she wrote, congratulations. She wrote, ah, um, she said, and we get another year of McColl with the crown emoji. And then she wrote, gotta go to sleep. It's so late here. Love you guys. Which is just so cute. Honestly, it's so cute. First of all, like the fact again, that she was joining this live stream, the way that we all join live streams to watch the Ares tour, Taylor Swift is joining live streams to watch the Chiefs ring ceremony. Um, it was like three, three or four o'clock in the morning in Liverpool when she was typing these comments. Like she stayed up super late in order to just like sort of be a part of the party. Um, it was just very, very sweet, very cute. Again, we haven't gotten a lot of Taylor and Travis content in the last few weeks because they've both been busy and working and whatnot. But the fact that she made a point to like participate in all this and the fact that she was like so hyped about McCole Hardman coming back to the Chiefs for another year, this has just made me so excited for football season to come back, obviously for the football, but also because I miss seeing Taylor Swift at football games. Like that was just such a fun time. And I'm looking forward to that um, coming back into our lives because... It was so, so fun. Speaking of Travis Kelsey, so Travis obviously was there to get his rings and they had this like red carpet kind of thing um, set up. And then they had a bunch of journalists press there to do interviews and stuff with the players. And Travis just like skipped all of that, skipped the red carpet, skipped, skipped the press, which honestly, I don't blame him because like... He just gets so many unnecessary questions these days. And I'm sure like a bunch of people would ask him like, you're getting a ring tonight. When are you going to give Taylor Swift a ring or something to that effect? And like, so I, when I saw that he was like, just completely skipping all of the interviews and stuff, I was like, good for you, Travis. Good for you. Just go inside and get your ring. Like, don't even deal with it. Cause it's just, it's just too much. 
But anyway, loved seeing that Taylor was a part of it. I was just so, so cute, so sweet, um, and so fun. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought about all of this, the 100th show, the tour ending, Taylor being a part, part of the ring ceremony. Um, next week, I'm sure we'll cover all the other shows she does this weekend, maybe t discuss some other news. As always, subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.